when I was a kid, there used to be this show on TV that starred Bob Ross. He was a painter and he used to be painting with his, you know, paintbrush on a canvas, dipping and dabbing on the colors. He used to be talking about various colors like crimson red, dialogue blue. I didn't know what the hell was going on. I was probably like seven, eight years old. This guy's dead right now. But was the show interesting? maybe but overall me watching it is pretty useless now if i was interested in painting maybe art i can see why i would probably watch it but as a kid i'm better off watching something like sesame street or blues clues to be honest because those shows are actually have some educational tips in them but just like this show was for me back in the day a pure playmaker in nba 2k18 might not be that useful in some instances, now you can say the same thing about the Lockdown Defender. You might be like, well, Waffle Man, the Lockdown Defender is basically what the playmaker is for offense. It's supposed to be a support character that makes your team entirely better. Which I understand that because at 91 overall, if you're a pure playmaker, I think you get floor general because for a 91 Lockdown, you get defensive anchor. So those stats are kind of huge, which is why... Eventually, I'm going to make a pure playmaker because I want to see how that 99 speed with ball is, that 99 uh, pass accuracy is. And also, they have a 99 speed. So this is the fastest archetype in the game, right next to the playmaking slasher. And also, it's the, the archetype that has the obviously the best passing. But in all instances, really, what does the best passing really mean? If you make a playmaking shot creator, You'll have an 81 pass accuracy. I went on NBA2KLabs.com again to compare the attributes. And you see that your pass accuracy with the pure playmaker is obviously higher. But if you compare a steal, if you compare, you know, all these dual archetype lockdown builds, they have like an 80, maybe somewhere between an 80 to a 90 steal. But that's not coming close to that 99 steal with Hall of Fame pickpocket. And even though the pure playmaker may have that Hall of Fame dimer and that 99 pass accuracy, listen, man, there are some games in my slashing shot creator that I just be passing full court passes perfectly. Now, it's not consistent, but the fact that I can make, con you know, multiple full court passes in one game, just get the ball off the inbound and just lob it up the court as easy as nothing i'm not even a freaking 90 overall and i could do those passes I'm not even a playmaker shot i'm not even a playmaking shot creator i'm a slashing shot creator and i'm dishing in diamond if i was a playmaking shot creator now imagine if i was a pure playmaker all those four core passes better be accurate i'm just saying i haven't used a pure playmaker yet i've seen a couple pure playmakers on park and it's interesting because whenever I go on a pure playmaker, even though, as you saw from the NBA 2K Labs, uh, you know, page, they have an 80 max mid-range, 79 three-point max. So it's not that bad. It's similar to 2K17, to be honest. It's the playmaker of 2K17. But with that pass accuracy, that shit better be automatic all the time. Listen, I don't if I if I'm using a pure playmaker and you can't pass the ball full court or you get even one turnover. It's a waste because we know that the farthest your 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 playmaking and your pass accuracy is gonna be is gonna get to 99 before any other stat. And remember the sharp shooting playmaker that that 99 overall on 2K had G Slice. He got his mid range as his last upgrade. So can you imagine when you'll get your probably last mid range or three point for your pure playmaker? This is why I say this is a very specific build for people that know how to pass the ball. You gotta be really unselfish to be a build like this. And I don't think a lot of people in 2K can really use a build like this. So that's why I say, for the majority of people, this build might be useless. Now, it doesn't mean it's a bad build. Of course, I'm still gonna be making one because I, I, I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of excited to be a pure playmaker, man. I mean, 99 pass accuracy. I wanna just get the inbound and lob that shit up the court. Because you know, people are always running in the fast break offense and pro is ridiculous. I want to be able to get that ball lobbed up the court. I want to get Hall of Fame Dimer and see what that does to the attributes. I also want to get Floor General, which I'm not sure how a lot of people have a pure playmaker 91 overall with Floor General because I want to see what that badge does to the whole entire team. I mean, this is this is the greatest support character on offense. You got Dimer, you got Floor General, a 99 pass accuracy, and don't forget, listen. 
everyone can really have some sort of offense in NBA 2K18. My, my lockdown defender can can stand on offense on his own. So a pure playmaker at 80 mid-range, sure, it's not that great. It might not even be at an 80 mid-range by the time you get to a 91 overall. You might not have the highest three point by the time you get to 91 overall. But guess what you do have? A 99 speed with ball. And that's very dangerous to have. That's why whenever I got a pure playmaker, I'm always playing back. Because most of the time, honestly, they're not going to shoot the ball. Now, if they're a sharpshooting playmaker, most likely they're probably going to shoot the ball. Which is why sharpshooting playmakers are really effective this year. But if you're a pure playmaker, I always play under the screen, man. You go under the screen, don't go over the screen, stay back, play back. Remember, they also don't have the best driving game. They're not a playmaking slasher, which is also a crazy archetype because that archetype has a tremendous amount of speed, man. So you got the ball control, you got the speed with ball, and you got a 97 speed. That, that archetype right there is deadly. But this is why overall a lot of people have been making playmaking shot creators, man, because that's the build to go to. Because not only do you get pretty good accuracy with the ball, you get, a, you get a great speed with ball, could be at a, a 93 or a 92. You also get great speed at a 93. And not only that, you're a playmaking shot creator. You have three Hall of Fame badges. A slashy shot creator doesn't have any Hall of Fame badges. Pure playmaker does have five Hall of Fame badges. But guess what? The, the Hall of Fame badge that a shot creator has is very important. Difficult Charts Hall of Fame, I'm noticing, is really, really effective for the playmaking shot creator. Especially if you have that 90 off dribble shot, that build is a beast offensively, man. And you still have the ability to dribble, ball control, speed boost if you want, and pass effectively. So if you can pass without the turnovers, it really makes a pure playmaker look really ineffective at times, man. Because if you got a person that can score, pass the ball, still has the speed, and can play defense, why even use a pure playmaker at that point? Of course, you still got Diamond Silver, it's not Diamond Hall of Fame. But if you can do the same thing the pure playmaker does without turning the ball over, still making the full court passes, which a playmaking shot creator can make, it makes the pure playmaker look really ineffective, man. But I would still be making one, man. But that's why, listen, you don't see a lot of pure playmakers out there. You don't see a lot of pure lockdowns out there. That's because the pure builds this year are really niche, man. Now, of course, you see a lot of pure sharpshooters. But that's because they're sharpshooters, man. Sharpshooters didn't really change from 2K17. But the playmakers and lockdown defenders this year, they really support archetypes. But the good thing is that these support archetypes are really, really great, man. When used correctly, it can be great. So I can't wait till I make my pure playmaker. I don't know when it's going to be. It might be this month. might be next month. Who knows? But anyways, man, that's all I got to say, man. Leave a like for more. Don't underestimate the pure playmaker. I'm out for now. Peace.